What's the threat level at the moment? Severe. Could we get the glass a little tap? Take it down to moderate or lower? You want us to reduce the feel-bad factor? Subprimes is the crisis that keeps on pinching. Nobody will lend to anybody. One false move, we go down like a rock. So to speak. The service, of course, isn't actually responsible for carrying government business. Actually, Miss Myers, I tell you what the service is responsible for. Not the other way around. And we tell you what the threat level is. Currently, it's severe. Thank you, Nigel. Okay then, Harry. Tell me all about the threat then. We currently have an officer undercover in an active Al Qaeda cell. Still haven't heard anything out of the ordinary. The foot soldiers are small time. The cell leader's a player. Nadif Abdul Rashid, IT specialist. He spent time in Pashtun last year. He was there at the same time as several other high-value targets. Our contact in Pakistan's Inter-Services Intelligence Bureau, codenamed Marlin, is convinced that Abdul Rashid is AQ's go-to man in the UK. Then why isn't he in Belmarsh? We're gathering intelligence. Bit 20th century, isn't it? Quietly close down the cell, you close down the threat. Close down the threat and... You might get a bounce in the polls. Believe it or not, Harry, this isn't about polls. It's about jobs and housing and pulling through a real crisis. Nadif will bring in a second cell to carry out the actual attack, but we have no idea who that team is. We have to watch and wait. Arrest Nadif, and I'll arrange a mini weekend away break for him in Algeria. You cannot believe for a second I will allow you to do this. We're going to downgrade the threat level because the general public needs some good news. Then arrange a royal wedding, Harry. We stay on Nadif, and my officer remains undercover until operational reasons dictate otherwise. Or else get Nigel out there to take charge of national security. Come on, Ross. He always walks a little taller after a haircut. While ultimate authority lies with the head of Section D, the operational running was, of course, handled by a senior security officer, so it would be unfair for any blame to attach to Harry. I think he's referring to me there, Home Secretary. I think he might be. Ross. No, really, Harry, it's fine. I was in charge of the operation. I don't have a problem with that. I don't expect gratitude, and I certainly couldn't care less about people's opinion of me. That is becoming increasingly apparent. So sack me. Get someone better to do the job. You can't. So please, let's stop wasting time trying to find scapegoats. Our enemy's smart. If this were easy, it could be dealt with by the number 10 press office, am I right? Which part of Harry did they use when they cloned you? One of our officers risked his life undercover. Two police officers died. I think we could live with a few bad write-ups or the supercilious smirk from the officer class. Won't be the last time Al-Qaeda get one past us, but we'll be better prepared next time. You were right and I was wrong about downgrading the threat level. Obviously, as a politician, I won't be getting up and announcing that at the dispatch box. You'll have to take some flack from the press, but that goes with the territory. Having said that, you were right and I was wrong. I, 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 I think... have to go and brief the PM. But there's nothing more to say about it, really. Good day, everybody. Thank you, Miss Myers. Thank you, Home Secretary. <laughs>